The backlog view is going to allow you to easily view the requirements that you have in your project. Now you can view your requirements in only the epics or features or user stories, depending on what you select from this drop down on the right. And if you choose to show just your epics, you can go ahead and expand your epics to see how they have features and user stories inside of them. In the backlog view, you can easily drag and drop different work items or subsets of work items to create a priority sequence. But there's a lot of features outside of just moving requirements around or viewing the requirements you have in your project. In the backlog view, one of the primary things you might want to do is add new work items. So let's collapse all of our work items here and let's build a new epic. We'll title this Epic for Tutorial. And we could either go ahead and add this in at the top, which we'll put at the top of the list, or at the bottom of the list, or anywhere in the list where we have selected. Let's add it to the top, and we can see that we have our new requirement here. We could then go on to build out this epic into features by going ahead and adding a feature underneath of the epic. By clicking that Add Child Work Item, we could see that we're brought to the Feature page, where we can build a new feature and save and close. From this feature, we can then go ahead and add a user story directly under it. We can call this New User Story. And again, we'll save and close, and we can see our hierarchy is taking shape. We can then again go ahead and drag that hierarchy into a different order here, and even use the context menu to change certain properties about these work items. Now you can change a lot of the settings of these requirements using the native options in the context menu. These are built in with Azure DevOps natively. Or take these requirements to a modern requirements module such as the review or baseline modules and use these requirements over there. But before we navigate away from the backlogs, let's talk a little bit more about what you could do here. Whether you're in the Epics Features or User Stories view, you could go ahead and show whichever properties you would like inside the interface by selecting which columns you would like to show. We could add in a property like Priority. Hit OK. And we'll now see the priority of these Epics on the right. We could also go down into the Story view, and from here we could actually do some planning and some mapping of requirements. So what do I mean by planning and mapping? In the story view, there is a view that you can use called mapping, which will turn on the side pane here on the right. This side pane is going to hold all of my features. And from here, I can go ahead and select a single requirement or multiple requirements and move them into an individual feature. By doing so, I will update the parent-child relationship between these two work items. I can also use the mapping feature to map features to epics. Another view option is the option to do some planning. In the planning side panel, we can go ahead and take any subset of requirements and move them into a specific iteration. We can even go so far as to add a new sprint, give it its title and its dates, and then simply create that new sprint or iteration. If we didn't want to do any planning or mapping, we could simply look through our backlog for work items of a specific type or that are assigned to a specific individual, have a specific state, are in a specific iteration or area, or we can simply look for work items by a specific keyword. Here in the backlog, we can also change some settings to allow us to go ahead and display our bugs directly in the backlog with our requirements.